Right, today I am going to be showing you how to I've seen a lot of like tutorials around on YouTube and none of them really explain it properly. So I'm going to give you as many tips as I can. Start with number one, which is helmet, knee pads, bum pads. Show them your ankle braces. The ankle braces. Well, if you don't wear a helmet, you'll fall and get yourself in the dog. Number two is to get over the fear of hitting your chin. You are not going to hit your chin. I have been doing nothing fronts for wait, I learned them in 2018 and I have never ever hit my chin. Point. If you do that and catch it there, you're not gonna hit your chin. That now brings us on to step wait, step number four. Yes. Three. Step number three. Right, brings us on to step number three, which is learning the motion. You have to have the motion down before you do the trick. So it's best if you do this on grass or something. But first of all you want to learn to just it feels like you go like that. You flick it outward. So hold your scooter, throw it forwards a little bit, then flick it out and catch it there. And keep doing that until it feels fluid. So on one of them, you're just not gonna grab it. Whatever it is. <laughs> One of the right. tips. <laughs> is the direction you throw it in. If you throw it down, it's gonna go up. Like that. And you're not gonna be able to get your bars down. If you throw it too high up, you're gonna be reaching for your bars. So you're like that. And you don't wanna be reaching for it. You'll know you wanna throw it sort of diagonal. And you'll know you've thrown it right because you won't have to move your hands to catch it, it's gonna just come straight up. So Next thing is, is where you throw it. So, if you throw it too early, <laughs> you, you're a bit dead, right? <laughs> you you want to throw it pretty much at the so about there. And you're gonna throw it straight up there. So before I want to explain that when you're doing the motion, you need to throw it and catch it there. Before you send the full off in front to save you from like bending your bars and killing the kid that's still at the bottom of the rack, um, go up a few times and throw it and catch it like that. So I'll do it for you just to show. So once you've done that a few times, same as the routine with the motion, you're gonna you need to get used to throwing it and catching it with your hand. And then on one of them, same as the motion, you're gonna throw it and you're gonna go and catch it, but you're not. I'm gonna go and just let it come around. So, so hopefully you catch your bars and you land this. I'm gonna, I'll do a few knocking runs around the park just to show you. Right, so personally, I prefer knocking runs. Main reason because when you do a knocking run, if you don't throw it right, it's not gonna come to your feet. When you do the whip, it comes down like a bride, so... You, when you've caught it like that, you literally just turn your wrist around. And it saves, it saves all the hassle of just yanking it down. So... I'll do a few knock front whips around the park instead of knock front because I'm way more comfortable with that. For the video, I am 99% sure I'm not going to land this, but I'm going to try and knock the front whip there. I've got it one foot once, so... Uh, sorry, Oscar. So I'm going to go give it a go, see if it works. I don't know. Can I just say this quarter is like two foot 
Christmas storm. It's a tiny storm. I think that's it for the video. Comment if this helped you out and if you learned up front. And if it didn't um, help you out, then you're useless. Yeah, facts. What have you got to say to Micah? Don't be a bitch, you You better like, right, and subscribe because Mr. Callum Wolf puts in a lot of effort for his YouTube. Oh, he's going to do a stunner flop. Right. Go ahead and do a stunner. Oh my god. If that doesn't deserve a like and subscribe and post notifications on, then you just deserve death. Bye. Bye-bye.